How's it going, Wanderlusters? My name is Mitchell Mingerentz, and welcome to another edition of Mitchell Travels. And this time it's a little bit special, because I have my friend and fellow Miamian, Bruno Mori. Well, today we're actually going to be covering something that's really important. We're going to be looking at our top five places to eat in the city of Miami if you're on a budget. So that means under $30. So let's get it going. So are you ready? I can do Taco Bell, right? All right, Bruno, so you kind of got an idea of your top five, right? It's got to be under 30 bucks. I got a set list. You got a set list, mm -hmm. and it's good. It's edible food. Edible? It's real cooked. food. <laughs> Are you sure it's good? It hasn't shown up on Fox News at all. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, guys, again, this is going to be a top five list of places to eat in the city of Miami or around it when you come visit, and the price point's about $30, so that means that you can eat comfortably and, you know, leave a nice tip for $30 or less. So with that in mind, Bruno, take it away. Wait, what? Take it away. Take what away? The audience, tell them. You want to take away the audience? No, just... You want to keep the audience. Just, just, You're trying to get more followers, subscribers. Take it away. Done with you! Okay, I'm starting this off with POC, P-O-C. It's located in Coral Gables. It's an American-Japanese fusion buffet, mainly a sushi buffet. Now, you want to get here is the mango ceviche. They have a carving station and fresh sushi. Best buffet in Miami by far. And you're definitely going to be under your $30 budget. Now, as a Peruvian living in Miami, I wouldn't feel right without mentioning my favorite Peruvian restaurant. And it would definitely disappoint my Peruvian brethren if I didn't mention it. Which one is it, Bruno? It's Aromas del Peru. Ay, ay, ay. And there's a couple locations. The location I'm recommending it is also in Coral Gables. Now, what you want to get here is the cliche classic Lomo Saltado. Dale. You can also start off with a Papa La Huancaina and have yourself a little chicha. Tell us your number three, Bruno. Well, it's no secret if you're in Miami, you like to drink. <laughs> and I like to drink. And after a night of drinking, you know what I go for? Some Nicaraguan food. My favorite Nicaraguan food is Yambo. Yambo Grill. What you want here is some churrasco. Give it. Some queso frito. Dale. And a little gallo pinto. Rico. With a little ensalada. Number four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we got some Mexican food. My favorite Mexican restaurant is Taquerias El Mexicano. Arriba! Two dishes I recommend. Tacos de cochinitas pibil, which is slow roasted pork tacos, and gorditas de chicharron. Delicious. Last but not least, drum roll please. Great. The big cheese. <laughs> An American staple. It's a U.M. staple. It's a Miami staple. And they got portions the size of U.M. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite dishes here are the baked ziti with pink sauce and the chicken parm. But they will always load up your table with garlic bread. Unless you tell them to stop. Like seriously, please stop. Please stop. <laughs> Alright, now that you've saved all that money, it's time to go get a nice hipster drink. And we're gonna go find that at Station 5. Go get yourself a Moscow Mule at Station 5 located in South Miami. They're the best Moscow Mules you'll find in Miami. Alright guys, it's time for my top five picks. We're gonna start off at number five, the Portofino Deli at the base of the Portofino Luxury Condo Tower in South Point, the South of Fifth neighborhood in Miami Beach. Now why is this place so good? Why? Because you can get yourself a nice little sandwich for about 10 bucks Please, please, please do get the Bronx Bomber Sandwich. It's stuffed with prosciutto, basil, mozzarella, all for under 10 bucks. And you got way more than enough money to get yourself a little cortadito. Keep it cool. Keep it nice in Miami. All right, guys, for number four, we're dropping it down to Coral Gables and Havana Harry's. Now, of course, it is Miami, and you do want to pay tribute to the Cuban community in Miami. And how do you do this? You don't go to Versailles, and you don't go to La Carreta. You go to Havana Harry's. I highly suggest you get yourself the Masas de Puerco. It's basically just pork fried with a little bit of the mojo sauce, which is a citrusy garlic concoction. And it is delicious, well under your $30 budget, and you'll be paying tribute to Miami. Well, number three on my list is... Well, what is it? Why, it's Lulu in the Grove! 
Lulu and Coconut Grove, due south of the Brickell District, Coconut Grove is known for its little artsy community. But the knight in shining armor of this entire community, restaurant-wise, is Lulu. Now, Lulu packs a perfect punch with its 10-ounce Lulu burger stuffed in between two brioche buns. It is an absolute winner. And mm. trust me, you will love it. It is quite delicious. You will love it to the last bite. Please, while you're in the neighborhood, also check out some of the really nice houses, the historic district, and some of those little artsy shops that people like. But the burger is where it's at. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, number two on my list is Angelina's Coffee and Juice. This is at the base of 2 Midtown in the Midtown District in Miami. People kind of know this district because it's right next to Wynwood and it's also next to the Design District. And that Edgewater. And Edgewater. But guess what? It's a lunch spot and it's a breakfast spot. So it closes at 5. Nonetheless, this place offers the perfect lunch, and I mean perfect lunch, and it's about 10 bucks. I highly suggest you get the carnivorous butcher flatbread. Now, this is just awesome. This is a flatbread that's rolled up into a wrap with a little horseradish. Oh, it's just so good. A little horseradish, some tomatoes. It's just heaven on earth. Please, Angelina's Coffee and Juice in Midtown. Also, one of the best neighborhoods in Miami, period. You've never taken me there. Well, you know what? You just, you're cheap. <sighs> just never mind. Bruno, hold me while I tell them number one. It is Next Cafe on Lincoln Road in Miami Beach. Well, that's a good choice. Go away, go away. This is the number one spot. Bang for your buck in the entire county. Odds are, fortunate or unfortunately enough, you will end up on Lincoln Road. <laughs> yeah, that is true. And you know what? While you're there, you might as well stay away from all those other spots that are going to rip you off. And how do you do that? By going to Next Cafe. I mean, the portions are gargantuan here. And you can get anything you want all day long from breakfast, omelets, sandwiches, flatbreads, whatever you want. Oh my. But, but Bruno, I highly recommend one or two things. The lobster tacos and the chicken and shrimp jambalaya. You will easily be below your $30 budget. You will eat like a king on South Beach amidst all the tourists. And you can just wave to them while they spend all that money on places that don't really, uh, aren't really worth it. So check it out. Next Cafe on Lincoln Road. That is my number one spot. Bang for your buck in all of Miami slash Miami Beach. All right, guys, it's time for my bonus. Now, to reward yourself for the fruits of your frugal labor, I highly suggest that you go to Area 31 in the Epic Hotel crossing the Miami River into downtown. Please, while you're there, get yourself a nice wee-wee cocktail because they're specialized in their cocktails and overlook all that is Brickell and the beauty of Miami in one of its finest, finest hotels. Area 31, the wee-wee. Okay, guys, well, those were our top five places to eat under $30 Welcome. in the city of Miami. Now, the whole point of this series of videos that we're going to do is to just avoid all the tourist traps to tell you the best Don't places. Don't go there. And just so you know Miami from Miamians, like yeah. us. We're trying to steer you clear. Yeah, even though we're from Kendall. They don't have to know that. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, they really it's not don't. sexy when you say that. Yeah, I know. It's where just, dreams go to die. I said so. Coral Gables. You want to be basic? You want to go to Cheesecake Factory? Huh? I don't get it. I don't get it. You want to go to Flannies? Huh? No. No. You don't do I'm it. I'm trying to help you out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. You're local. Oh. But oh, not a local. Oh. You know what I mean? Speaking of local, best wing spot outside of Buffalo, New York. Ale House. I mean, Sports Grill. Yes! Sports, Sports, Grill. Sports Grill, not Ale House. Sports Grill. So while you're there, by the way, get the special grill wings, buffalo garlic wings. That is well under 30 bucks. I can't believe we forgot that. You can get the sauce on the side, too. You can get the sauce, you can get the sauce, on, the sauce side. on the side. I don't think they're commentating yeah. at Sports Grill. Yeah. Well, special thanks to Pitbull for sponsoring this video. And Gloria Stefan and Emilio Stefan. Without them, we would be nothing. And also, thank you to Donna Shalala of the University of Miami. Pat you, Riley. Just, you know. Just always got to thank And Dwayne Wade. Are you going to call Dwayne later? Yeah. Yeah. He hasn't written yeah. any of my Instagram tags. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. Thank you for watching another video here on Mitchell Travels. Now, before you go, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Don't forget to hashtag Mitchell Travels. 
Bruno, thank you so much for your participation, and You're I, so uh, welcome. I like to uh, see you again soon. Don't be, don't be snide with me. Any more of these? I, I, I don't. This has been empty the whole video. See you later, guys. Happy travels, wanderlusters.